Work and coffee become inseparable in the modern industrial age. The introduction into coffee was the shift of taking beer breaks to taking coffee breaks because beer was affecting everyone's behavior and ability to function. You simply couldn't afford to be drunk while you were working the heavy-duty industrial machinery that gave rise to modern society and industrial revolution. So, caffeine became part of the industrial revolution because it became the drug of choice of the Protestant ethics of the workaholic world of the Victorian age. Coffee made a big splash in London, England. By 1700, there were over 2,000 cafes. They were called penny universities. Because for a penny, you could buy a cup of coffee and spend hours listening to enlightening conversations and debates. The cafes became the center of sober intellectual discussion. Starbucks opened in 1971 as a single store in Seattle's Pike Place Market. Starbucks coffee history was just beginning to take shape. Starting from a base of 17 stores in 1987, the company expanded rapidly to other cities, Vancouver, Portland, and Chicago. In 1990, Starbucks expands headquarters in Seattle with a total of 84 stores open. Then in 1994, the first drive through location opens and a year later, Starbucks introduces the Frappuccino blended beverage. In 1996, Bottled Frappuccino drinks are sold and Starbucks opens its first international store in Japan and Singapore. Now, there are a total of over 1,000 stores open. The company's logo was initially a woodcut style image of a two-tailed mermaid, or siren. But it has undergone a lot of changes over time. The historical original design had the mermaid with bare breasts, but the modern version has become more stylized and her hair covers her body. The name comes from Captain Ahab's first mate in the classic novel Moby Dick, who was named Starbuck. Not satisfied enough with just a storehouse coffee, Starbucks initiated several other products and brand extensions, offering Starbucks coffee on United Airlines flights, selling premium teas through Starbucks owned Tazo Tea Company, using the internet to offer people the option to purchase Starbucks coffee online, distributing whole bean and ground coffee to supermarkets, producing premium coffee ice cream with drawers, selling CDs in Starbucks retail stores. The history of Starbucks shows how the one small regional roaster selling coffee beans became an international corporation with more than 9,000 locations in 34 countries serving 20 million customers or more per week. forget to subscribe everyone and I will be uploading videos every Monday about Starbucks uh, next week let's see I will make a video of me going through the drive-thru so stay tuned and see which drink I order will it be on the secret menu will it be on the regular menu who knows but also an announcement toasted graham latte is a new introduced fall flavor. I'll make a video separately about that. Maybe that'll be my next video. Um, just wanted to let all of you guys know though because that is a go-to drink. But thanks for watching and stay tuned.